We began with a deadly shooting in northwest Oklahoma City, one we've been telling you about since it happened over the weekend. 24-year-old Javier Morales was shot to death outside a liquor store near Britain and Western Saturday night. Tonight, those close to him are still reeling from the loss, including hosts of a popular podcast who tell us Morales had been working for them for years. News Force John Hayes sat down with one of them and has the latest on the murder investigation. John. Kevin, Jolene, Jennifer Welch tells me the news has been so crushing they actually had to cancel an interview with the second gentleman. She says Javier Morales was more than an employee. He was family. I loved him so much. Jennifer Welch fighting back tears. There was nothing unsaid. When thinking about Javier Morales. Javi started working for me when um, he was 18, 19 years old. Her building manager and I've Had It podcast production assistant. We're shattered here into a million pieces. Used to sit in this chair. He just has this can-do attitude. He even brought this plant back to life. I was like, Javi, Maybe we should just throw it away. And he goes, no, I think I can bring it back. I mean, he was the kid that did everything right. Oklahoma City police say he was murdered Saturday night outside this liquor store near Britain and Western. He was sitting in his car, became involved in an altercation with probably more than one person. I don't know the exact number, but, but more than one. At some point during this altercation, he was shot and killed. One suspect, Brooklyn Miller, is in the Oklahoma County Jail on an accessory to murder complaint, meaning this case isn't closed. This is one that we really need the public's help on. And as the investigation unfolds, Welch says she's spoken with his family. They want everyone to know this was a really wonderful person, a person you could rely on, a person that was at the wrong place at the wrong time. It's a victim of gun violence. Welch says so many of us, including herself, have become desensitized to gun violence, making it hard to process when it hits so close to home. Sadly, you hear about people getting shot all the time, and you don't know the people, and you think for a second that's horrible or that's sad. And I guess if you live in America long enough, someday somebody you love more than anything on the planet is going to get shot. I've seen that other countries that have had gun violence have actively sought to make safer spaces for their citizens, and I'm hopeful that the majority of us vote for that and demand that so that these kids are not dying. Welch says Morales' father actually works for a nonprofit called Live Free OKC, which aims to curb gun violence through intervention and outreach. A fundraiser to help his family cover funeral expenses has already raised $23,000. If you'd like to help, we'll have a link at k4.com.